Hello and welcome back. We continue today working on Gambit Guide and our new series. We start with the Tory attack, which happened after d4, knight f6. So instead of usual, move c2, c4. Carlos Torre, one of the strongest grandmasters from Mexico, who played the famous in Moscow first international tournament 1925 mm -hmm. and with his knight f3 e6 and bishop g5 move won is one of the most famous games which were played in chess against Emmanuel Lasker the second world champion so since then the Tory attack become quite interesting and coalescible option for white of how to avoid the classical position of the Nimsa Indian or Queen's Indian defenses which were in that time quite popular and later on become just almost the modern and most important opening lines as the weapons against the first d2 d4 move so white's main idea after bishop g5 is not immediately to play next c4 so white differently tries to complete his development with moving the pawn on e3 and to c3 bishop to d3 so why one has to play bishop g5 move because it's very important to understand that bishop g5 allows white to keep the bishop to the more active position than c1 because white's setup is including the e3 move which is almost force white to take care of the bishop on c1 <clears throat> so that why bishop g5 is quite playable quite interesting less aggressive move bishop f4 however uh, i know many strong players including the the former cup winner gatakamski one of the challengers of the world championship matches and uh, Kamsky loved to play bishop f4 even when he was a child and even now just already after more than I would say 20 years of practicing sometime I see that Kamsky again and again repeats this bishop f4 his child I would say lovely opening so however we back to the bishop g5 because here black usually has to start attacking white center immediately with the move c7 c5 white c5 is almost necessary move first of all black is trying to counterattack white's position in the center second problem that if black plays move like b6 white could think about alternative e2 e4 instead of the e3 move in that case white is trying to take control over the center and even ready to set to give the two bishops advantage after h6 bishop takes f6 or oh, bishop d b7 white still having the threat e4 e5 so c5 more or less important move in in such a position white cannot recapture on c5 definitely because after bishop takes c5 black's position is just very good he has two threats right now one is queen b6 which is quite difficult to stop and second is bishop takes f2 and then knight e4 winning the bishop on g5 later on and black is gaining the material advantage and third idea even in some point black can play move like knight e4 put which which is just putting white in in the difficulties let's say in the position after move like c3 it's possible to play queen b6 impossible to play of course bishop takes f2 however black even could 